Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today is Wednesday, October 11th, 2023. Today I'm talking about COVID-19 infection and autoimmune disease risk. Now, today's uh, update comes from an article in the JAMA, the Journal of the American Medical Association, Open Network uh, Journal. It was published on October 6th of last week. Now, there was a, a distinguished group of researchers from Korea that showed a connection between COVID-19 infection and a possible increase, the word is possible, increased risk for autoimmune conditions post-infection. Now, I'll include the link to the article. So what they did was they examined records from over 350,000 individuals who had COVID-19 diagnosed by PCR testing between October 8th, 2020 to December 31st, 2021. And that was before the Omicron uh, sub-variant took over the world. Now, researchers compared that COVID-19 group to over 6 million healthy individuals who had no evidence of COVID-19. And they found that the cohort who had COVID infection had increased risk for some of these autoimmune diseases that included alopecia areata, alopecia totalis, that's loss of your hair, uh, something called ANCA, which stands for anti-neutrophil cytoplasmic antibody associated vasculitis. They also had an increased risk for Crohn's disease and sarcoidosis, the people who were in the COVID-19 group. And people who had more severe COVID-19 infection, that meant they were admitted to the ICU. They were at greater risk for many autoimmune conditions, and that included alopecia totalis, psoriasis, vitiligo, and vasculitis. So what's the key takeaway? Is that there may be an increased risk of these autoimmune diseases as complications of COVID-19. Again, adding to the body, growing body of literature that supports that COVID-19 isn't just the flu. Okay, that's my message today. As I've said always, the best COVID infection is the one you never have. Take care, folks, to prevent COVID infection or reinfection. Be well.